In a previous video, maybe a few years ago, I did some testing with auto socks. One of the tests I did was to go up the side of the driveway and it was somewhere in this area. So I've already today attempted to get up the side of the driveway without the chains on. And I'll play that video next. I still don't have the chains on. There's a bit of snow up ahead, and I'll just drive a little bit. I don't think I'll be able to go very far, and then the truck will stop. I don't want to go in with speed because I still got to get the truck out later. I'll just see how far it can push in there. So it stopped there. I think I should be able to back out. I've got the chains on. Attaching the springs. These wood blocks are helpful for uh, keeping the weight of the vehicle off of the chains. Makes it easier to install them onto the tires. This is the area that I drove into earlier without the chains on. And I think the tracks for the front tires should be visible there. The chains are on. I'll just drive in slow, sort of like I did with out the chains. So there was some spinning. There is some harder snow in this area. So what looks like it happens is the, uh, the chains dig through the snow and I can see some bits of grass. So they dig through the snow and then actually start grabbing onto the surface underneath, which is the lawn. It's stuck. See what see what I'm in. Okay. Oh, no, I'm stuck. Well maybe I can back out of here. Yeah, the truck is 
the bumper is in snow they're dragging in snow maybe I can maybe I can back out I can see the front of the truck was pushing snow here and the truck was dragging and <laughs> chains I actually got out of there So these are two-link V-bar tire chains. And what I mean by two-link is that the cross chains are spaced two links apart. And by V-bar, that's the traction surface. Anyways guys, thanks for checking out another video.